right, guys. Well, <clears throat> sucker that I am, I uh, did go back to Hex this morning after going to the gym. Rewarded myself, got another one of the pre-release packs um, and another one of the set boosters. So I'm just going to open this up. Uh, I was really, really tempted to just give in and buy a box of boosters because they do have them at Hex, the draft boosters. But uh, I don't know, something just tells me I'm going to be happier to, to wait until next week when they say they're receiving the boxes of set boosters. And actually, since they want, I think they want like 140 for a box of these next week. So in that case, you know, th that price difference is a bit much. I think you guys said Phil might have them for 120 so I'll just bite the bullet and um, head out there uh, as soon as he's got those. But let's open this up. Uh, let's see. If it's a little bit better luck than last time, although as I said after the fact, uh, the Scarecrow I think is worth a few bucks. I thought it was 10 but it may not be. Anyway, let's see. Okay, here's our art card again. No signature, so no luck on that. I forgot what they said the rate was. I got to check what the rate is of uh, gold signature art series cards. This is Nighthawk Scavenger. It's an interesting card. If you guys haven't, I mean, look it up. It's like a... I think it's got some potential to, to be useful. Um, like I said, I, I'll probably collect these, but we'll see. Um, then another full art mountain. So I guess what I understand is one in every four of these should be foil. So I've opened two packs now, and not, neither time was it foil. I do like these new full arts. They all mix, mix, it'll mix things up nicely for me in my decks. Uh, now we got... I looked into it a little more closely, and we get what's supposed to be one, two, three, four, five five six connected cards in this case uh, okay this is not bad I got three uncommons three commons but three uncommons is a standard booster right so I still haven't done better in these slots let's see what we can figure out about how these are connected so this card is called spare supplies uh, very you know I think it's clear to me that they definitely decided I mean, with the party mechanic, but with a lot of this stuff, they've seeded all the D&D &D themes ahead of time here on, on Zendikar, for sure. So, Spare Supplies and Adventure Awaits, I think I've seen the theme already here, right? Then they deliberate, I guess they're making the plan. What they've run into is this Skyclave Geopede, and a Lithoform Blight, and a Mind Carver? Um, okay, so the three commons seem to have... A theme and then maybe the three uncommons is it that they each have their own separate themes kind of have the theme of these creepy crawly things um, there's a lot of these cards with the that give extra bumps with uh, if your opponent has more than eight cards in the graveyard this turns anything into a city of brass hmm interesting uh, Again, they hit the adventure theme on the head, man, with the art. Wizards has been getting that right for years. Although I do, as, as I always say, more variety in styles would, would be interesting. Okay, what do we have next? Um, Tangle Florahedron, which is the flip, one of the flip forests. I like that, Tangled Veil. It's got those fallen polyhedron thingies. Uh, so basically, it's just, uh, this is interesting. It's... A mana dork for two mana, but if you're really pressed, you could just put him down as a land. I don't know how I feel about that. Not so interesting. Man. Risen Riptide. Why is there still what? What is this? I don't. I don't get the order of these packs. I thought after the six commons, you're supposed to start getting something interesting. And cleansing wildfire. Destroy target land. All right. I don't know. Zarif Sand the Trickster. Merfolk Rogue. Um, nice art. Not sure it fits into any of my commander decks or that I would build around it. But interesting. Foil Vastwood Fortification. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. But it can also come out as a uh, Foily Forest. And then an Angel Warrior token. Ugh, this pack was decidedly shittier than the other one, I think. Lots of commons. 
you know, this is what I'm trying to avoid. I, I mean, I want the product that's not just going to give you a lot of useless commons. But um, I'm not sure this is going to be the set on which I finally go ham and buy a box of the collective boosters. Anyway, you guys, uh, here, let me show you some of the other stuff I pulled in yesterday. Uh, Foil Lotus Cobra from a pre-release kit. And Grackma Skyclave Ravager. I do like this creature. But again, I don't play standard, and it's, it's not very impactful in other formats. There's my R card from yesterday. And then in one of the other packs, I opened up... Um, oh, by the way, if you guys don't want these, I do. To use them for proxies. Uh, I said yesterday I like the Inscription of Abundance, then I opened a foil one in a pack. Which is cool. Uh, there's the Scarecrow. I got... I know this is a me and a Mari-ass card, Leviathan Crab, but I don't need two. I only need one for Commander. Um, not a good sign when I'm already seeing repeats. And then uh, you guys know about Morag. Landfall, extra attack phases could be cool. And Linvala may be the one that I pick to make a sort of a EDH party deck out of because of the uh, you sack her to get the Hexproof or Indestructible. So it's a nice way to block board wipes. Anyway, I'll crack this open later and let you guys know if there's anything good in it. Uh, so far, a little meh on the two set packs, but it's only two packs. I don't know what to judge. All right, guys, later.